All right, guys, it's time to bring to you a video uh, about the Chosen Ones. I'm here. I'm back with another Chosen One video. And let's get right to it, guys. Uh, if you believe you are a Chosen One, a sign is that you are a very honest person, guys. Um, honest and bold, right? When you feel a certain way, you tell people uh, you're honest, you're bold, uh, you come out and say exactly how you feel, when you feel it, because you realize that uh, time doesn't work that way and time isn't in your favor, right? You you probably have been through experiences where you are so distraught because you wish you would have spoken up, uh, you wish you would have brought something to attention, you probably have very vivid dreams about these same uh, ideas that you know, like in school, you wanted to raise your hand and tell people stuff, but in your dream, but you, but you you couldn't raise your hand, right? It's like, as a chosen one, you're gonna have very vivid dreams that have a, sort of a deeper meaning to your conscious life, right? To your everyday life. Um, so yeah, as a as a chosen one, you're probably going to be a very honest person. You're not gonna be someone who's who is too afraid to uh, tell somebody something. Uh, you were sort of like looking back and you're like, oh, I really wish I would have done this. As a chosen one, you're going to be in sync and you're going to be doing the things that are coming to you uh, because God is probably having a impact on the things he wants you to do and wants you to say where these other people probably don't have that as strong within them, right? They're probably like, Oh, I really have a crush on so and so, but uh, I'm just too afraid to speak up. Where you, you're probably like, God is probably telling something to you, like, go tell this person this thing, like, go do it right now. And then you just feel in sync and you just have like this, yes, adrenaline, but like, to me, it's like shaking, right? It's not the same as adrenaline. It's like, I feel my body shaking when I know I got to do something. And it usually has something to do with like, doing something for somebody else or like protecting someone I care about, I'll start shaking. And that's when I know, like, I'm synced up with God, like he's pumping the Holy Spirit into me. Uh, if you get what I'm saying, but yeah, as a chosen one, you're going to be very honest, you're not going to be afraid to tell people stuff. And you might be afraid for a little while, but then eventually God is going to put it, put it right in front of you for you to sort of come clean and tell them exactly how you're feeling. Um, so yeah, I mean, for example, for me, like, I had these two girls fighting over me, and, you know, it's getting, it got to the point where it's like, basically, they're fighting over me, and they're causing problems, and it's like, gets to the point where you say something very bold to them to sort of get them to even leave you alone, even if you don't know they're going to leave you alone, you, did, you just are very honest with them, and it kind of scares them away, even though you didn't want to do it, right, but you can't sugarcoat things. And as a chosen one, it's not going to come natural to you to sugarcoat things, uh, to be deceitful, to sort of always get what you want, right? You're going to tell people exactly how you feel. And nine times out of 10, you're going to scare them away. But that's just part of being a chosen one, right? You're not here to sugarcoat and you're not here to deceit and manipulate. Uh, you're here to just tell somebody something very honest. And if they're ready to hop on, you know, the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ, then they will. But nine times out of ten, it's going to scare people away because of the, you know, the, the the demonic spirits within them is going to sort of make them kind of take off like a deer. You know, it's like you're the lion and they're the deer and you tell them, yep, this is me. And then they run away, right? Because they realize, oh, I'm just a little deer and they took her off. And I'm not trying to say it in a mean way, guys. I'm just giving you sort of like a, a picture in your head to remember that. You know, as a chosen one, you're very honest, guys. Uh, you're telling the truth. But let's get into the next, uh, like, sign or just next thing as a chosen one. Because this video is for the chosen ones. Uh, so, like, the, ne the next thing as a chosen one is uh, people are just going to naturally be attracted to you, right? Um, even if they have the spirit of Satan within them, the, uh, they are going to be naturally attracted to you. You are just going to be, like attracting uh bees like honey right people are going to want to be in your life people are going to want to look at you people are going to do uh outrageous things to get close to you 
And this is where that, that honesty kicks in because you can't just have all of these people wanting to be into your life, right? You have to sort of, um, yes, pick and choose, but also you kind of got to weed out the people that you can tell, like, they don't have the same character as you. Uh, they don't have the same honesty as you. So you just know it's not going to work because uh, they're going to be probably over here playing games with you and sort of like wasting your time. And as a chosen one, you do not like to waste any time. You like to go straight forward to whatever you're trying to do. Um, that's one thing as a chosen one is you do not like to waste time, especially not with relationships, guys, because as a chosen one, you want to affect as many people as possible in the shortest amount of time. You don't want to spend all your time with this with this woman and then she just sort of like three years down the line just sort of like ghosts you and now you don't get those three years back. You would much rather as a chosen one uh, affect as many people in a positive light that you can uh, within a short amount of time. So you might have a lot of uh, short relationships with just people of all different situations and just oh, you might have helped this person or gave so-and-so a ride home or you might have said these words to this person. And that's kind of kind of like the way as a chosen one uh, is that you may affect a lot of people um, and you might affect them short-term, long-term. Well, you're going to affect them long-term, but you might have only been in their life short-term. So uh, as a chosen one, you're going to really um, affect a lot of people and you're probably not even going to know how many people you have affected because... It's God living within you, God's spirit living within you that is affecting these people because being a chosen one means you are chosen by God. God chose to put his spirit within you. Um, so yeah, if you guys didn't know what a chosen one is, that's what it is, is that you have God's spirit within you. That's why people want to be around you. That's why people are attracted to you like, you know, bees are to honey. That's why people look at you everywhere that you go. Uh, you have the spirit of God within you, right? Um, you could be the ugliest person alive physically and people are still attracted to you because you have the spirit of God within you. Uh, you could be down so bad and you could be the most luckiest person in the world. You could find a quarter here, a dollar here. Oh, so-and-so gave you $10, right? It doesn't matter your 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 sir, sir, situation or yeah, situation, right? If you have the spirit of God within you, you're a chosen one. You are the most lucky person. People will want to hand you money. And then later on, you hand that money back to them. Uh, and then they go buy a lottery ticket with that money because that's how lucky you are. People can just feel that you are lucky, guys. You have the luckiness within you because God is within you. God's spirit is within you. You're a chosen one. So you're going to be lucky, guys. You're going to be lucky everywhere that you go. You might find the perfect shirt uh, and it's on sale. Or you you may find a $100 bill right on the ground. Or you might just have people giving you stuff everywhere that you go. As a chosen one by God, you are very lucky, extremely lucky. And I'm not saying you're going to win the lottery, or the jackpot, right? I'm not saying that stuff, guys. It's about the little luckiness that you have everywhere that you go. And that pays off in big ways sometimes. So if if you can sort of realize that you're lucky, uh, I'm not saying to go gamble or nothing like that, guys. But I'm saying if you can realize you're lucky, just put yourself out there more because the luck is going to go your way, guys. Uh, as a chosen one, you are very lucky. Um... Okay, another thing as a chosen one is you have gone through pain. Okay, God has put you through the storm. Okay, as a chosen one by God, God's spirit went within you. Excuse me, guys. God's spirit came into you through some sort of painful event or some sort of hardship. So he had to pump you with, the, with this Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Some sort of hard event happened to you and you were pumped with the Holy Spirit, pumped with the Holy Ghost. And now the Spirit of God lives within you. Okay. This is part of being a chosen one, guys. Something very hard happened to you. Uh, sometimes people might not even remember what happened, right? They sort of like, it was so hard that they sort of just like tried to forget it. Okay. Some people remember exactly what it is. For some people, it might have just been like, 
just an overall astounding amount of events. For some people, it might be one specific event. It's not the same for all chosen ones, guys, but the, the thing that's in common is something very painful has happened to you that inflicted the spirit of God within you, guys, okay? Remember, guys, the spirit of the devil is sort of that of selfishness, greed, uh, self-centeredness. Okay, that's all the, the, the spirit of the devil, guys. But the spirit of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, is selflessness, um, just spreading love. Um, you know, there's more, guys. Go ahead. You guys let, them, let me know down in the comments, right? But yeah, selflessness, just passing love on to people, um, being very humble, being very honest, right? These are all qualities of the chosen one, guys, of the people that have the spirit of God within them, right? And they're, they're only lucky because, you know, God wants people that are chosen to have the finances, to have the, um, this, he wants the chosen ones to be very blessed uh, because he knows they're going to use that uh, to help the world, not to hurt the world, if you get what I'm saying. But yeah, people, chosen ones, the ones that have the spirit of God within them, they have all the qualities of God within them, right? They don't, they don't want to hurt a fly. They don't have a bad bone in their body, guys. They're selfless. They'd rather help someone and they, and they go through something than to put someone else through that, right? They would rather give their shirt to somebody and then be shirtless in the thunderstorm, right? They'd rather give someone a ride, even if it's their last ounce of gas. Um, within reason, guys, I mean, if you're helping people, right? If you're helping people, you want to make sure that um, you're still able to help them, right? You don't want to just give all your stuff away and just be homeless uh, all of a sudden, just because, right? Within reason, within logic, guys, you help people uh, with your last, right? But you don't literally just give everything away that you own, or like your car and your house, Right. As the chosen one, you got to be on firm ground within yourself to help people. Um, and th this is just something that is, you know, common knowledge these days that you have to be standing on your own situation to really help other people. So, yeah, as a chosen one, you will be very blessed later on in life. Uh, God will bless you. But the first way you were blessed was with the Holy Spirit that was pumped within you guys. God chose you to to pump the Holy Ghost into you. So that's the first way that you were blessing, guys. A lot of you might think, well, I don't have a lot of money. I don't have a lot of this. I don't have a lot. You have the Holy Spirit within you. You have the Holy Ghost within you. And that's why you are chosen. You have the Spirit of God within you. Why do you think you are so lucky? Uh, why do you think you are so kind? Um, why do you think you're so beautiful, guys? Even if you think you're ugly, you're beautiful. Come on now. Beautifulness comes in all different shapes, colors, just different varieties, guys. Your uniqueness is why you're so beautiful, because you're so unique, because you have the spirit of God within you. That's why you're beautiful. I don't care what you look like. You are glowing because of that spirit of God, that aura of God, guys. It's seriously shining through. And that's why everywhere you go, people are looking at you. People are looking at you to speak. Uh, people are, are saying, oh, after you, you get on the elevator first. You get on the escalator first, guys. I'm telling you, as a chosen one, you might just think that, like, as a chosen one, it can be hard to identify, oh, my God, I am a chosen one, right? Because you're so humble as a chosen one, Sometimes you, and sometimes you're so much in denial because you think, well, that's just what happens to everybody, right? Like, oh, everyone... Everyone gets, you know, oh, you go first and everyone finds a dollar on the ground and, and, and everyone, everyone looks at everyone when they walk by. No, guys, this is something that is very unique to the chosen ones, the people that have the spirit of God within them. Um, it's very rare, guys. It's very rare um, to be the way that you are, right? The friends and family, probably the extended family that you have created, guys, do you guys realize that you are the glue holding your relationships together? You guys are the glue that is holding the relationships together in your life. If you didn't exist, the whole network of people in your life probably would cease to be connected, guys. 
as a chosen one, you are very good at connecting people of all different backgrounds, uh, races, or just belief systems, right? As a chosen one, you probably ha have connected people that have completely different beliefs and you've connected them all through yourself or people that come from all different uh, situations, backgrounds, you've probably connected these people through yourself because as a chosen one, you're very, very gifted at connecting people together, guys. You unite people. You're the glue in um, basically like situation, p situations with people, right? You are the glue that holds that dynamic together, guys. So yeah, as a chosen one, you're very, very gifted, guys. Some would say you have superpowers. Uh, you have very good um, intuition, guys. And if you're a chosen one, you can attest to this, that you probably have gone through life just based on your intuition some days, right? Your logic might have been saying, oh, don't do this. But then your your intuition is saying, just go forward, just do this. Um, you know, your intuition is what really guides you as a chosen one. You're rushing to that, that feeling that God is saying, like, He's shining the light on a certain, like, oh, yep, this is where I'm headed, right? And your and your logic and your and your and your your um thoughts is telling you turn around, turn around, but you, but you are saying nope. This is what I see. This is what I must go for, and I'm not stopping until I get there. So yeah, guys, as a chosen one, you are very very gifted. Do not ever forget this, guys. Uh, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on my video. And hey, thanks for checking it out. I'm out.